The 2024 Kia EV9 is the three-row SUV you didn't know you wanted because you haven't seen anything quite like it yet. Entering an entirely new segment, Kia is first in the non-luxury electric three-row SUV space. Yes, that's a mouthful, but the more you experience the EV9 GT line, the more you realize what a cool ride this is. The Telluride is also cool, but the EV9 is muscling in on that SUV's territory as the trendy Kia with cachet. Actually, there's room for both three-row SUVs in Kia's lineup because EV9 pricing is expected to start $20,000 above a base Telluride. Pricing is just the start of the 2024 Kia EV9 story. Our 2024 EV9 GT Line AWD test SUV meets the high standard set by the Telluride in many ways while managing to destroy it in 0-60 mph acceleration. Are we there yet? Things used to be so simple. For example, the Telluride offers one engine with FWD or AWD. With the electric EV9, there are some more relevant specs. The 2024 EV9 is offered with RWD or AWD and in a few different power levels. Base EV9 RWD models have 215 horsepower from one motor while a special long-range model mates a 201 HP tuning of the motor with a larger, nearly 100 kWh battery pack. Kia predicts a 300-mile driving range from this light long-range model, the longest of the lineup. Go for an EV9 AWD like our GT Line test SUV, and you're looking at 379 horsepower and up to 516 pound-feet of torque. Put another way, we clocked the big Kia hitting 60 miles per hour from a stop in a swift 4.5 seconds. That's a full 1.4 seconds quicker than the top-of-the-line Toyota Grand Highlander Max Hybrid and a startling 2.4 seconds quicker than a 2023 Kia Telluride. No excuses for being late to school now. Driving the EV9 GT line, it's immediately clear Kia wasn't trying to build an electric SUV as sporty as the EV6 GT but with a third row of seating. Although an EV9 GT may still be on the way, for now we have the EV9 GT line, whose responses strike a balance between Sportster and Luxury Cruiser. Really, it's a great place to be. The composed ride quality is a plus, though you'll feel a fair amount of body roll. That, combined with blocky styling you can see from the driver's seat, lends itself to a more relaxed and purposeful driving style. Then again, some Motor Trend editors found the EV9 GT line's inputs encouraged sportier responses on winding roads thanks to its direct steering and low center of gravity. Regardless, for a vehicle that weighs about 850 pounds more than a Telluride, the EV9 GT line has good panic-breaking performance. From 60 to 0 miles per hour, the EV9 took 118 feet, which bests both the Grand Highlander Max and Telluride's 123 feet in our testing. Out in the real world, the EV9 offers one pedal driving that's both intuitive and unfussy to use. Whether you approach the EV9 GT line by how it feels or by the motor trend tested numbers, there's a lot to like about the way it drives. And that's meaningful considering that until Hyundai, Ford, and others enter this space, EV9 is the only fully electric non-luxury option. Convenience is a big deal for three-row SUVs, and the range anxiety some feel with electric cars may be an issue here. Your normal driving habits will determine whether this is a problem. Range on the 2024 EV9 GT line is expected to be 243 miles. That's not great, but other EV9 AWD models should get as high as 270 miles, which is better. Like all EVs, the beauty of the EV9 is the way it saves you time in your weekly routine. Yes, a Telluride can travel more than 100 additional miles on a full tank, but we've never heard of any Telluride owner refueling at home. With the EV9, you never visit a gas station again unless that jackpot's too big to resist. A 243-mile range in the best of conditions would hamper a long trip, but Kia attempts to make up for that with fast charging abilities. When you're away from the convenience of a home charger, the EV9 can charge from 10 to 80% in 24 minutes on a public fast charger. As a functional three-row SUV, the EV9 easily gets a passing grade. The second row captain's chairs are comfortable in, as with almost every three-row SUV, the third row less so. It's an okay place to spend time as you patiently wait for the, available, power-operated second row thrones to move out of the way so you can get out. We appreciate the one-touch functionality, but less expensive EV9s may fold down quicker. In back, cargo space doesn't look competitive, but it's in line with gas-powered rivals. The EV9 can hold 20.2 cubic feet of stuff behind the third row seats, or 43.5 cubes when the third row is folded out of the way. 
Over in gas land, the Telluride can swallow 21 cubic feet behind the third row and 46 cubic feet with the third row folded down, and that's without the EV9's front trunk, or frunk. RWD trims, light and light long range, have a 3.2 cubic foot frunk while AWD trims, wind, land, GT line, offer a slimmer 1.8 cubic feet. Never mind the frunk, though, the real showroom showstopper is the floating center console. From the second row, passengers can easily pull a handle from the back of the front center console to reveal a small tray table and a deep storage compartment below. Neat. With a mix of touch capacitive buttons and physical controls, the EV9 GT line does its best mix of futuristic and user-friendly design. However, we'd still like a different place for the start button than awkwardly hidden behind the steering wheel at the base of the gear stock, think of a turn signal stock but lower. Even so, in this trim, the EV9 GT line does its best to justify what we expect to be an eye-popping price for a mainstream-branded three-row SUV before you consider its electric powertrain. The EV9's electric underpinnings are the whole point, though. This three-row SUV is quicker, quieter, and more efficient than any other large SUV you've ever driven. Because of its electric powertrain, it may also have the shortest range of any large SUV you're considering. Which brings us back to use case. There's no question the EV9 is a good SUV, one we want to spend more time with. However, its range means the Kia can excel in your day-to-day -day routine but not shine as brightly on a family road trip. Yes, of course, you can charge when your kids need bathroom breaks, why didn't you go when I asked you 10 minutes ago? Closing parenthesis dot. But as we've reported repeatedly, the public charging network isn't as reliable as it could be. Which is why it's good this impressive Kia can fall back on its other strengths like the way it drives in its premium interior. Its higher price than gas-powered three-row SUVs will limit sales compared to the Telluride, but we suspect quite a few people attracted to the Tesla Model X and Rivian R1S will find what they need in the EV9. Kia gets two gold stars for the EV9, one for showing up and a second for executing well.